PG-13. PG-13. This movie. Are you shitting me? You're shitting me, right? Possession. PG-13. For this. This movie right here is a PG-13 movie. Uh, were you high when you uh, gave it that rating? Were you on, like, crystal meth and... It's just not... Paying attention to what you were watching. This one. PG-13. PG-13 scary movie. You're, you're kidding me, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to have to use the old baseball reference. And say, uh, what game, what? What movie were you rating, Blue? Open your eyes. You weren't watching the call, were you? No, you weren't. You weren't watching the call at all. How in the hell can you call The Possession a PG-13 scary movie? I do not understand that. I do not understand that. In any way, shape, or form, whatsoever. You know, Nikihiga had the right idea before. This whole c rainbow movie R when there's cursing, just when there's cursing and stuff in it, and when they read a movie PG-13, there's killing and explosions. Well, in some PG-13 movies, there's all of the above, and so many of our movies, there are all of the above. There are some rated R movies and some PG-13 movies that have all those things combined. But when you have a scary movie that has killing and explosions, and not, and not a lot of sex and cursing that I know of, And, and I saw the trailer for that, for that movie, The Possession. And you say that The Possession is PG-13, even though after seeing that trailer, you think that it's PG-13? That looked really hard to me. I mean, I may not be a uh, blind scientist or nothing, but but come on, man. I mean, okay, I know scary movies when I see them. Okay. Now I may have seen a lot more comedy than I have horror movies. I'm a fan of all the rated R films that are comedies and and horrors. But Brighten this PG-13 scary come on now. Really? I mean like like like, seriously? Like, like, follow, follow, seriously? Like, I don't get it. Because I... Because there's rated R f scary films that look just as scary as that. Like the new Paranormal Activity 4 trailer. Have you seen that? Does that look PG-13 to you? Does that look PG-13? I mean, they've rated all of the first three films. R. Oh, what? Yeah, there's killing and all that other stuff and, and that, but you're going to rate that PG-13 too? 
Look, I'm one of those people that believes that if there's a movie out, or that is coming out, and there's some scary shit in it, of any kind, whether it's blood, or gore, or guts, or, or, or scary, disturbing images, or something like that, it should be rated R. Okay, action and adventure movies are the only ones that deserve to have the PG-13 rating, in, in my opinion, because well, there well there are other movie genre movies of different genres that deserve the PG-13 rating as well, not just action and adventure. It's not true, but. I mean, that movie, The Possession, looks similar to movies like, you know, The Devil Inside, or The Exorcist, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, The Last Exorcism. That was a PG-13 horror movie, and I had a nightmare from it. Yeah, and that was a PG-13 movie. And it scared me enough to have a nightmare. Yeah, yeah it did. Yes, it did. But, but come on. Come on, Possession. Does Ghost House Productions not know what's rated R and what's not? Like, seriously? Ghost House Productions? I mean, your name of your production company is called Ghost House Productions. Ghost House. I just don't understand. Okay? Why there are PG-13 scary movies that look like they should be rated R. I felt that way about Shark Night 3D. Why can't you do the same for that movie? Right? Right there. Why can't you do the same for that movie? Hmm. Why not? It's just something I don't get. You know? I just hate PG-13 scary movies that deserve to be rated R. Okay? That's what I, it's, it's what I think. I'm just one of those people. It's just my opinion, that's all. I mean... <laughs> If after seeing a girl go like, because I was watching the trailer, and there's this one point in the trailer where the girl was like, uh, 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 and then there was like something coming out of her cheek like this, like, uh, and then this eye was like all, was like almost shrunken, and this one was like open and stuff and it looked freaky and if you noticed at the end of the trailer when she was in the bathroom and she was looking inside her mouth or something and then like the two fingers came out of nowhere if after seeing that scary stuff, and you still think it's PG-13? I don't know what to tell you, honestly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why the possession
is not PG-13. Scary.